Hey guys. Hey, uh, George. Hey, I keep calling you George, but I, I feel that I, I mispronounced your name. So maybe you could do a tutorial for me at some stage. That would be good. Today, every day Zwifter, how are you mate? Leroy, how are you? So Lee, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna smash out the 20 minutes and see what happens. So, however long you've got with us, that'll be awesome. Yeah, George, I thought, I think it's about, for me, about maybe, well, I did like 3.9 the other day in New York, and that was when I, sort of half the race didn't do much, and then the next half I sort of pushed. I thought maybe I'll give it a crack today and see what happens. Why is George called George in German? <laughs> ich bin Auslander und spreche nicht gut Deutsch. Bitte langsam. How's that for German? I, that's probably year seven I learned a little bit of German, but that's decades ago now. Time trial. Have you just finished, Lee, have you? So did you finish FRR? That's, that's all done and dusted now? That's 21 races, was it? Oh yeah, they're good. Oh, I wish I could speak some German, mate. Sound of music. Every day is after, I'm afraid. Probably not. Probably not, mate. Yeah, Lee, finally, mate. Hey, I saw your rating, your uh, Zwift Power rate ranking. It's gone under 100, Lee. That's epic, man. You must have uh, did some big points in races early on. Like, uh, sorry, in the last 21 races. <clears throat> All right, every day's Zwifter, I'll have to check it out, eh? I'll uh, look it up after the stream. If I can come back. Be a little bit better at pronouncing names. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gone under 100, mate. So that's that's an epic, epic effort, buddy. All right, so 19 in the field so far. So it's not a big race, not a big pack. Yeah, under 100. That's huge. You tend not to do um, tiny races, so I think a lot of people will do tiny races and get boosted up pretty quickly. Your sub 100 is legit. Yeah, what's up with that? That's strange that they're not connected. Hey Marky Mark, thanks buddy. It's after the 20 minute PB today. Last week I wasn't feeling it so thought I'll start this week off with a big effort. Probably not a good idea but we'll see.
But George, you might be going down a little bit, mate. But when you start winning some races, it'll start going up in bigger, bigger jumps. So I reckon you'll be right. So I'm just going to sit, try and sit at 360 watts for 20 minutes and I'm not, I don't care if I'm at the front of the pack or the back of the pack, just got to do the 4.0 and so we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> I think my previous best lead was 350 for 20. I'm trying 360 so I can then ease off a little bit when I'm dying at the end. Alright, here we go. Thanks for jumping on, guys. <clears throat> I probably won't be able to talk much during this effort, by the way. See what happens. Start off with a bit of a low cadence, slow grind. <clears throat> Thanks everyone. Thanks for the best wishes. I do wonder if I uh, hold on to this, whether the pack will stay with me or fall off or not. Since I'm grinding it out here, I've got to keep an eye on the RPM, I don't want to get too low and too hard. <clears throat> 55, it's feeling pretty comfortable. I got uh, Jonathan Cridland in here. Now he's a good rider. I don't really want them getting away from me though. <clears throat> I know Cridlin loves to push. He's very, very strong. So Lee, I think you said Cat A Z map. 
ZFTP 4.2. I don't think I'll be pushing those today. We're just trying to get a little bit closer. Point two. That's for five or six minutes or thereabouts. And is that in one race or just across the last 90, 90 days? Problem with this is you don't get any rest in the pack. Normally I'd be Bit of a lazy bugger sat at the back. <clears throat> Marky Mark, three sixty, mate. Yeah, 350, but I'm going for Going down hills hard. Get the power on. You guys need to get yourself an e-bike. That's my secret. Dropping a bit. I didn't know this circuit at all. It was very confusing. Okay, it's trying to. True, yeah, that's a good idea. A bit late now, though. Well, these guys lighting it up. Thanks for the thumbs up, Marky Mark.
Yeah. I'm seeing the same way. But I'm going steady, they're bursting. Burst up the hill. Comes Leroy Jenkins. This is where I drop back, fellas. Nice little gap there. I'm to channel my inner Lee. I can't go with. Don't want to blow up. Not yet. Uh, Lee, over four, I think, mate. Four one if I'm lucky. Yeah, feeling quite good so far, Mark.
to try and keep the watts on while it's going downhill. Five minutes. Oh, man. All right, get on boys. Big boy rolling. Yeah, I'm feeling all that, Lee. <clears throat> Lactic acid oozing out of my, my paws. Let's go. Left legs ain't wobbly.
Oh man. I think that's it, boys. Oh. Woo. Minus thirty seven. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that's hurting now. <clears throat> oh. Back right shoulder blade is Oh, it's like I pulled a muscle. Oof. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for hanging in there. Oof. I was thinking about the uh, my personal bests. I've always, well, I always wonder if they really count when you're targeting them specifically or whether it's best that they just occur naturally so I reckon I probably could have stayed with the pack if, if I was resting a lot more and sitting in like I normally do Any of these GC races, I've sort of, I'm sort of resigned to the fact that I'm never going to race prime time. <clears throat> Just because it's some ungodly hour here in Australia. So for me, just trying to get a good result, it's normally the goal. Yeah, Mark, I didn't sit down that whole time. I just sat down now. Yeah, cadence was probably between 50 and 60 most of the time. You gotta remember, I've got gravity on my side. So I can basically fall on the pedals. That helps a fair bit. But what's really hard when you're standing up is to do the full push, scrape, and then pull motion. It really doesn't work very well when you, sat, when you stood up. Whereas when you sat down, you can be a bit more smoother on your whole stroke. Yeah, I didn't sit down, mate. Lee. So I ride better like that, I think. Except, uh, except when I can ride outside. I'm about six foot two, so I feel like I catch a lot of wind if I'm stood up. So I don't stand up much when I'm outside. If I can get away with it in the Swift world. Kind of like being on a stair climber, I guess. I think uh, cycling purists would probably scoff. Well, I'm pretty much done here. I'm just going to 
cruise in. I know you had uh, stuff you wanted to go do. Crack on with your day. Alright, mate. Thanks, Lee. Thanks for dropping by. Have a great Monday, mate. It was a pretty good day here, so it's going to be a good Monday for you too. See you, buddy. Thanks for dropping by, Mark. I saw uh, you jumped on a bit early too. I appreciate you coming on and giving me some encouragement. It's probably not very exciting now though. The guys in front of me are pushing good numbers. All above four, maybe they're going uphill or something. Oh yeah, I must have been pushing up this one. Oh, thanks, mate. Feel like I've settled into B now, so I like to start mixing things up once I've settled in. Try some silly things, make it a bit more interesting. What rides have you got lined up coming? Coming up the next week or so. Any good rides? Yeah, when's the last one of this? You change over on the 1st of April or something, or before then? 
Yeah, I think you need to be fresh on this one, don't you? Especially with the two, two big climbs. <clears throat> I was thinking this track, this course, this circuit could only be worse if it uh, had this KOM up here. And the other one where the bike is, like the other side of this one. That would be brutal if you had to do that twice. The four big climbs. from Tim here. Get a little, uh, little draft from him maybe. Yeah right, I've completely missed these ones. Always wondered if I should go a bit earlier on this this climb, being a heavier rider and not being the fastest up the climb. But everyone sort of uh, takes it a bit easy at the start. Like this bit here, everyone's sort of preparing themselves for the hill. Seeing maybe if I went a little bit earlier. Try to put a few seconds on the pack around this bit where it doesn't quite get that steep, but everyone's sort of cruising. And that gives me a bit of a buffer up the top here. Yeah, right, on the corner there. On the corner is the steepest bit, isn't it? It starts easing off. Just up here. Yeah, I normally like to hit that corner pretty hard. I found that, for me, the best best time I did up the Alp de Zwift, or actually, what? I can't remember, the reverse one. Epic com, I think, reverse. I was every every time the gradient went over 10, I was stand up. Every time it fell below 10, I sit down, and that seemed to work pretty well. Mixing up the muscles I was using. Probably should have tried it today a little bit. <clears throat> Yeah, momentum's key, isn't it? I reckon Zwift is all about momentum. Always want to be moving forward in a pack. If you're not, you're at risk of dropping off the back.
These back markers are still putting in a lot of effort. Good to see. What time did you do on this one, Mark? What's a good time for this this circuit? Feel like I'm going to be about 45, maybe, or maybe 43. Yeah, I reckon 43 for me. So I see people doing this in like 41s, 40s. This looks like I'm going downhill, but it's one degree uphill. Sometimes I find the gradient graphics a bit confusing. Yeah, let me know what time you did, Marky Mark. Captain Flame. Here we go, my favorite part of the, the track. Thirty-seven. Yeah, wow. Good time, mate. Yeah, well, so about eighteen minutes of that. Yeah, I think that checks out. I think I did about eighteen on the first lap, maybe. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that's amazing. <clears throat> I see numbers like that and A feels like such a distant distant goal to achieve. Alright, 
is this guy gonna breeze past me? There he goes. Good job, mate. Wow. Hello. Thanks. Every day is with the thanks, mate. Yeah, I did 20 minutes standing. Probably 20, 20 minutes, 30 seconds, just to be, just to be sure. Whoa, 35 minutes. It's fast. Yeah, I'd probably like to have a crack at it in a nice pack. Might be able to hang on. All right. Well, that's fun. Mong, 36. There's John A. It's looking good tonight. Good job, John A. Uh oh, 20 minute. 4.3. Well, that's good. Very happy with that. Junior, hey buddy, you up there in prime time, mate? You you would have been right up there with him, wouldn't you? Oh, easy. I've always liked being out of the saddle. I've never done it for 20 minutes straight though. Like uh, certainly those sprints, um, 800 meters out, I'll definitely be out of the saddle the whole way. Maybe when I'm dying, I sort of fall back down at uh, 50 meters to go. But I don't know if it's efficient because sort of lose the whole scrape and then pull of the cycle because I find it really hard to do the scrape and pull when I'm standing. It sort of stresses the muscles too much and they, they tire really quickly. One minute of ten. Jeez. So, uh, Junior, my... Uh, 4.3 is nothing for you, is it, really? What sort of, uh, what's a kilogram for 20 minutes are you doing? You'll be up in the fives, wouldn't you? Maybe even a black? Black A? One minute of ten watts a kilogram. That's going to be bonkers, mate. What's your best so far at that, Junior? do the, the Jurassic Coast Sprint Race. I'll jump on that one. See if I can uh, get the legs in order before then. <laughs> oh no. The motor to be great. I don't believe that. Did you pay someone off, did you? Yeah, doesn't seem right, does it, Mark? JC will be smashing us all over the place. So JC, are you in the Kaboom? Club or are you in a different club? Let me just check.
trying to see the one minute power column. Yeah, so those kind of like what happened to RT. RT had, well, he's got crazy, stupid numbers anyway. But for a while there, he was stuck in B. And he just couldn't do anything about it. He was just kicking everyone's butt, doing hill races and all sorts. He was doing over four, six to five. Watch the kilogram in Cap B races, and he's still in Cap B. So how many watts do you have to do, JC, for, for 10? 10 watts a kilogram, uh, 10 watts a kilogram for a minute? What's your target wattage there? under 60 kilograms you're like 55 kilograms or something for a minute oh that's gonna be awesome hopefully you've got time to recover Are you going to do that straight out of the gates? I just go for it out of the gate? Because you may as well, everyone else is going to be going for it for the first minute or two minutes. Then they'll ease off. As you're ready to ease off as well. And are you going to be uh, recording this and sharing it or what? Hang on, so if you're in Cat B, are you going to do this in Cat B or are you going to do it in Cat A? You're just going to keep racing Cat A. I reckon you, you'll get bored in Cat B, I reckon. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I've just uh, I've just finished the loop to loop. And I was focused on trying to get a PB on 20 minutes. And uh, Lyft reckons I got 4.3 watts a kilogram for 20 minutes. And then I pretty much cruised on in. But since I'm here now, I'm thinking I might do this Jurassic Coast sprint race. It's quite a nice short one, so I'll do that race in 10 minutes and I'll try and do it properly, like I was a bit silly just pushing for 20 minutes straight regardless of position in the pack or drafting or anything. So I think this next race I'll uh, do it properly. Yeah JC. It'll be too easy for you mate. The numbers are crazy. Hey JC, so you know those uh, Rift Nationals? The guy who beat me 
the last race. He got a wild card entry into them, so I was, I was kicking myself after I heard that. So I pretty much, as soon as I got dropped, I pretty much switched over to watch the, the front pack in both races, so I could have actually been a wild card. That would have been a bit of fun. Would have been annihilated, but you know, it's nice to. Nice to sort of gauge where you're at compared to the best. Alright Mark, have a great day mate. Thanks for dropping by. Enjoy your work buddy. Oh Jess, thank you. You're staying up, eh? Thanks. This is no Formula One racing though. Thanks, Mark. So the risky bit on this next course for me is the, the reverse com after the Titans Grove, the lumpy bit. So on tired legs, that's going to be a bit of a struggle. Yeah, Jess, hopefully no crashes, hey? What about your boy's engine blowing up? Or was it his tyre? I don't know, the smoke came out of the back right or something. It looks like he's still clear on the leaderboard. Yeah, JC is sad, mate. So how old did you have to be? Was it 18 plus? I wonder why they have such a sort of an age limit. I wonder if it's some sort of silly child protection thing with regard to videoing kids or something. Like underage. Videoing minors or something in an event, I don't know. Yeah, Jesse had a full blown fire going on when he stopped in the pits. Sign up. I don't know what sort of checks they do. <laughs> you're a um, you're an old cycling member, aren't you? So you paid your dues. Why can't you race? Well, they don't really do a great deal for sort of e e racing or e cycling. Are you allowed to race in the um? The National E Club races. Because they're coming up pretty soon. <clears throat> what did um, what did the organizer say, mate? When you emailed him, was it just a flat out no, with no reason, or did he give you a reason for the arbitrary sort of age, age limitation? Yeah, Jess, so I signed up for my Oz Cycling license to actually go in that race, those races, and also the uh, I was national club races later, I think next month maybe? Maybe uh, 
paid member. For insur insurance purposes, I think. Which is kind of funny. I'm more likely to have a crash riding around the Criterium track in real life than uh, in my garage here. You never know though, sometimes I do get a bit cross-eyed sprinting. Oh, you got banned for it. Oh, mate. The bureaucracy. Hey, JC, have you done those um, talent identification things on Tuesday night of cycling? I saw those every, um, every Tuesday night around the same time as ZRL. Looks like they're looking for uh, younger riders there. You're probably right in their, their targets for, for identification there. Jess, you do push quite a bit of power, so I'm not surprised that your bike jumped around and tried to jump off the off the trainer. Oh man, yeah, JC, that's tough, mate. I don't know what to say about that. You just gotta use that uh, motivation, fire in the belly, push harder. Find that sort of stuff helps me um, helps me train harder, helps me perform better. One sprint. Jeez. How can you sprint that fast? Like, are you stood up for that or are you sat down? Must be sat down, yeah? Three revolutions a second. That's bonkers, mate. So, I don't know, I think I've probably maxed out 140. Alright, I apparently know someone in this race. Let's see who it is. Who is it? Brian Montgomery. Go Brian. I've got no idea about these numbers. What are you talking about? I want to see what my Wahoo's set up for right now. Oh, race starting. Cancel that. I'm riding. 
Get the worry jump. I'm intrigued about these numbers. I don't really understand them. Oh man, my legs are feeling a bit rubbery. I keep my forward momentum happening. I was going backwards there, so I want to keep going forwards. Start the grind. Yeah, I'm daydreaming, Jess. I'm starting to open up the Wahoo picker app to see what gearing I've got set up. Now I think this is a pretty hard start for a race I find. Titans is not really that easy. And into that KOM, KQOM reverse. People like to push over the top out of Titans. So I'm feeling pretty tired by the time we get to the reverse King Queen of the Mountain. Thirty-five cogs. That's one in the middle, is it? Oh man, I better pay attention. So, how I've got the bike configured at the moment is two speeds on the middle middle one and 13 on the back but then the cogs I'm not quite sure what the cogs refer to is that the big ring or little ring or if I recall I think I was on uh, 56t or something if that makes any sense whatever Hey Darren, mate, I'm not paying attention. These guys are too busy distracting me with numbers. Easy. Is anyone else riding at the moment or just... Sat down, doing a bit of YouTube. I don't like it stretching out here at the moment. I better get some forward momentum happening. Darren, all right, man. Well done, mate. You must have been making nice, nice progress through the Cat City races, have you? Clearly. Every day is Zwift are gonna try and play this one properly. Try and do the. Uh, Lazy sprinter thing. If I can just get over these hills, we'll be looking good. And then, easy, I hope I can replicate your win from a few weeks ago. Your perfectly timed sprint finish.
Oh yeah, we got the NRL finals coming up soon, I think. I hope they're not tomorrow, because I'm going to be wasted. So Darren, you'll be uh, pre-racing with the AeroCat B-Boys. And uh, so if you've done ZRL, Cat C, and now you've been promoted right before the finals, are you allowed to ride Cat C again? Or is that it? April, okay. Alright, here comes the hard bit for me. I want to hit this with a bit of momentum from the pack. A nice drafting. A little bit far behind here. But here we go. Power up. So this is uh, how you get the fastest through. Start at the back and try and finish up the front. I keep going over the top. My legs are burning. Japanese riders always good up the hills. See boy. Hi mate. Yeah, Drew. Darren, I hope. I hope you can, mate. Yeah, Jess, I made it. Thankfully no one pushed too hard. Hey boy, it's like the burn you gave me the other night, mate. Those last three Ks. I actually thought it was good teamwork. We uh, pulled the solo guy back, dropped the rest of the pack. That oh, was really fun. So thanks for that ride, mate. Uh, sorry I missed you at the tiny races. I had a headache Saturday night and it wasn't feeling any better Sunday morning so I figured best not do a bunch of tiny races when the head's already hurting.
Oh, you want some more RPM, Jess? Get the legs moving, okay. Thank you. Good having some uh, live coaching, I love it. Heart rate has been great. I'm wondering who in this pack is going to be the threats in the sprint. Let's have a look. Yeah, I am trying to do two things at once, so I better keep an eye on the pack, eh? I've been caught napping a few times this race. Uh, Brian. Hey, buddy. I wonder if Brian's watching. Are you watching, Brian? You're looking good, mate. Looking strong. We well, got some pretty highly ranked riders in here. We've got three riders under a hundred, so. They're bound to be good. We've got one who does 15.2. What's a kilogram? 15 seconds. And here we go. I'm not paying attention again. Oh, Lee, I'm up for more punishment. And they caught me off guard here too. I had a nice leisurely rest, Lee. Second half, you saw a bit of that. Thirty or forty RPM. That's even too low for me. I reckon fifty to sixty is my sweet spot. <clears throat> Watching pros. Three fifty is my zone one. I don't know who he's talking to. <laughs> Got a bit of banter going on, it's good to see. Sprint banner, which one's that, man? <coughs> Can we talk? First sprint banner. Do we go through the uh, beachy area? Is that the sprint banner? I can't really remember this circuit, this track very well. Lee, really, I got uh, 4.3 watts a kilogram for 20 minutes on that last race. But that's definitely a PB, which I'm very happy about. But yeah, the, the wheels fell off after that. <clears throat> Coastline. First D-boy, there's a bit of... There's some hills after that, isn't there? 
A bit hilly. I know I'm up for a challenge. How many k's out is that? I could probably average over four for a little while. Or I just sit in and try my luck against this uh, 15 watt guy or girl. Uh, Brian's being nice. <coughs> Darren, maybe. I'm trying to get there. But I'm thinking uh, my Z map might be holding me back a bit, so I think the reliably, a reliable source tells me around 5.2 for the Z map of, uh, what's that, 5, 6 minute power. I think I'm about 4.6. So I'm a little bit off yet. And I think uh, my timing would be bad as well if I did that. Just like you, mate. Be bad timing for a ZRL final series. All right. <clears throat> so am I trying this? Oh, here we go. There goes the breakaway. I'll chase them down, hey. Oh, come on, 700. I'm not catching. That's crazy. That's all about the momentum. I didn't have forward momentum. It took a lot more. Right, what's happened behind us? All right. Good day, Nathan. Nathan, these crazy cats are trying to tell me to go with five k's to go. I'm not sure I've got that in the legs.
Yeah, Paul, mate. Go. No, nope, not interested. I'll drop him next time. Getting in, I think, now, Steve O. <clears throat> yeah, Nathan, it's true. It's getting a little bit boring sometimes, though. Just sitting into the sprint. Kind of anywhere after the bridge, isn't it? The sprint on this one. RPM for Jess. We've got a 15 watt sprinter in this pack. Spoiler alert, that's not me. Yeah, we'll try and get Doom Guy into God mode. Anything over a thousand watts will uh, trigger the god cheat code.
they're going to go this slowly. I am wondering about a surprise attack. Well, here goes someone. A nice lead out train happening. Looking good, hey? Someone's going for an early attack. They're all a bit eager, I think. Oh man. Oof. Nissan, good attack, man. Really good attack. And uh, my French friend there, the fifth, he did really well. And Montgomery, telling me he just come up from Cat C. Awesome stuff, man. Good day, Clark. Hey, Thomas. Yeah, Nathan, that worked out well in the end, didn't it? I think they, uh, they all went a bit early. They got nicely stretched out so I could get a nice draft. And I know what it feels like for Nissan there. You know, you're in the last 150 metres and you Legs just feel like rubber. The pack is breathing down your neck. Not fun. But to be honest, I didn't think I was going to make it. <laughs> Darren. Boom guy. It's got a nice ring about it, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't, um, Nathan, I don't, I'm not showing the overlay. I really should have uh, paid attention to what draft numbers I was doing. Because the pack really sped up, I reckon it would have been at least 300 watt saving, at least. 
Poor old Nissan would have had nothing out front there. Oh, thanks everyone for jumping on and especially the coaching. Well, I don't know about Steve, are you telling me to go at 5Ks? I think you just like to see some punishment. Yeah, I use sauce, mate. <clears throat> Nathan, the uh, Boom Guy mod, Boom Guy HUD uses the source API to get all the data. I've just not been displaying it on the screen. Like, um, like what you normally would see. I could probably make a box on the HUD correspond to the draft numbers, that would be easy enough. <clears throat> Steve Boy, thanks mate. Yeah, we'll have another ride together. Yeah, that was fun the other night. Thanks a lot, Lee. Thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for coming back for round two. Yeah, I should do something with that, shouldn't I? I like how Jessica's got it all on her screen. It's kind of nice, neat and tidy on on her mod. But I reckon uh, you're right. I could probably put it down the bottom right there, or top right. Hey, Darren, congrats on the upgrade, mate. And you're right, we'll have to have a race, have a ride soon. Race or just a group ride or something. <clears throat> yeah, Jess, I, I might put it there. You're right. See you later, Lee. Thanks, mate. Nathan, uh, I did a ride a bit earlier where I tried to set a 20 minute PB. I got the W uh, Wee Bell down to minus 37. Nothing like Sharon, uh, Sharon's. Uh, Minus 60 or 70, whatever she got that time. But I was thinking of making the Doom character uh, like the dead face or the, the dead character if I go over Wee Bow 20 or 30. That's what it feels like. Thanks a lot. Uh, Every day's Whisper, thanks, mate. See you on the interweb interwebs. Yeah, minus 37, it's pretty, uh, pretty tiring. So I do wonder, probably suggest that my FTP needs to be bumped up a little bit now. I guess that's how it's sort of calculating the wee bow based on FTP. Right, well, I'm just going to spin the legs out till uh, 22 k's, then I'm going to go stretch out. Hey Nathan, who have we got on uh, in the drops next week? <laughs> you should try and. Uh, or a uh, aero guy go past one to do it was. Nathan, maybe you should ask uh, Jessica here to come on in the drops. He's a bit shy there.
But she'll probably hate me for suggesting it. <laughs> oh, Marky Mark. Oh, you missed an awesome finish, mate. You're going to have to rewind about eight minutes, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, nice. Hey, Nathan, another one you could ask is... I think his name's Adam Power. And I think he's the Oz Cycling Esports organizer. So he... Uh, he organized the national championships that were held up in Brisbane on the weekend. He's also the organizer for the club uh, races coming up late in, a, in a month or two. I reckon it'll be uh, really good to reach out to him. You'll be able to find his email address on, uh, on the Oz Cycling e-cycling esports area <clears throat> thanks mark yeah sitting in the pack was lovely compared to the last race <clears throat> a few other maybe ones nathan I think it's, yeah, I think it's Adam Power. You will, uh, you'll see his name on the e-cycling page of Oz Cycling. We're down the, ba down the bottom of the page about the event organizer. Yeah, sorry Bradley, that'd be awesome. Um, maybe even try and reach out to Josh Wilson, who won the uh, Australian e-cycling Zwift race the other day. Um, Josh Harris came second and Mark Gates third. Any of those guys will be great. And the women's, uh, Josh Harris's partner, Kate, won it. So, we've got a lot of people there you could uh, get on. Anyhow, I've done my 22.0 Ks. Bit of a cool down. Yeah, I think it's Josh, Josh Wilson. I reckon that would be great to get on, especially hot off the press of winning the inaugural Zwift Australian Nationals race on the weekend. That would be awesome. Alright everyone, thanks for joining. Yeah, you've, you've got a life as well, haven't you, mate? So much to do. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Thanks a lot for the encouragement once again. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Marky Mark, did it work? Could have worked. Try it again. Might just be a uh, lower case, I don't know. I need to uh, make it better printouts. Hey, there we go. Da boom. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Marky Mark. Legend. Oh, it's so funny the other day. I don't, I can't remember who who did it, but it was like it put in uh, one pound or ninety nine p for bananas. It looked very much like a cash register docket. It was so funny. All right, see you guys.
Thanks for that. Cheers, mate.